please help me welcome our first keynote speaker for this session, Freddy Vega. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Freddy Vega. I am the CEO and co-founder of Platzi. At Platzi, we do effective online education for everywhere in Latin America, both the places that speak Spanish and Portuguese, on the kind of digital skills that people need to get a job in the tech industry. Today, Platzi has one million students all around the world, and we have a 70% completion rate, which is higher than the average completion rate of the average online education platform, which is between seven to 10%. We do this, we, we manage this because we do it the hard way. We own the methodology, we own the platform, we do everything end to end as a full stack education company to be able to create a new way to teach online. And today, we are the biggest technology school that speaks Spanish and Portuguese in the Latin American world. We were the first company to be selected to be a part of Y Combinator with a Spanish speaking market in 2015. But also Endeavor Entrepreneurs, according to CNET, were one of the 20 most influential tech companies in Latin America. We won the prize of Entrepreneur of the Year last year at Ernst & Young. And at the biggest ed tech event in the world, ASU GSV, we won first prize as the best ed tech platform in the American continent. I, I like this one because Matthew McConaughey gave me the prize, so I keep this picture very close to my heart. It's Matthew McConaughey. According to the OECD, it takes five to seven generations to get out of poverty. So if you're born in poverty, you're poor, and your children are poor, and your grandchildren are poor, and so and so. It is very hard. Besides the completion rate, what we care about is outcomes. So together with Omidia Network and Acumen Lean Data, we partner to create an impact report and find out if what we do at Platzi actually works. We found out that for people that stay at Platzi for one year and study with us for a year, they will increase their income between 54 to 260 percent. And they will have a monthly salary ranging from $500 to $3,500 in Latin America, which is way above minimum wage in Latin America. This means, practically speaking, that it takes them one year when they study at Platzi to get out of poverty. And that's what we're trying to do. Because there's a bigger issue here. The bigger issue is that technology is advancing way harder, way faster than the human capability of adapting and learning how that technology behaves and what we can do. And this is something that will happen everywhere. This is not just something that happens at first world countries. We already have self-driving cars in Mexico and in Brazil. We're already, we're already seeing a decline in certain manual repetitive jobs in all around the third world countries. And this will continue happening. So it is, it has been for a while already, the end of the idea of just going once to a university, getting a college certification or a diploma, and then using that for your life forever. Now we need to live in a world of constant lifelong learning. Besides that, in Latin America specifically, only 13% of people have access to university or higher education. That means that 87% of people in the age or conditions to look for higher education will not be able to get it. Maybe just because there are not enough seats or because they are not in the right moment in their lives to get access to this kind of education. So they need another way to get trained. And before effective online education platforms, most people just didn't do it. And they had to resign to use to go to jobs that were manual jobs or easy jobs to do that didn't require this kind of professional education that now is easy to get. Last year, Software Guru, which is an organization in Mexico, did a study on software engineering salaries in Latin America, trying to find out the difference between salaries for people that went to college or that had university education versus those that only learn online. And the common wisdom is that if you go to college, if you go to a university, you're going to earn more, you're gonna have more money. They found out that you earn 36% more if you, were, if you went to a university 
versus if you only learn online. And this seems like the kind of thing that creates confirmation bias. Like, of course, that's true. Maybe 36% is less than I thought, but that's true. However, online education platforms that actually work have not been around for a long time, only for five years or so. So they decided to adjust the study to only try to see what happened with people in the last five years. What they found is that for those working for less than five years, the, different, the difference between online and universities is less than 1% in most of the cases. Even more interesting than that, if you know English, if you speak English, like 70% proficiency in English, you're gonna be earning 40% more than any other group in the study, regardless if you went to university or not. This is right now in Latin America. So probably in first world countries, the effect is even higher and even stronger. Latin America is also special because now we're getting more venture capital than ever. SoftBank announced at the start of this year a $4 billion, a $4 billion fund for Latin America, the $4 billion innovation fund. Besides that, Latin America is already receiving a lot of venture capital. Last year, Colombia alone got more venture capital for technology startups than France. And Latin America, in certain areas, is getting more VC investment than Europe, which really makes no sense at first, but then you see how the markets are evolving and how more access to technology with a bigger and denser market is, getting, is creating new kinds of business models that we never thought of before which also means that with a higher investment in technology, there will be a higher demand and a higher hunger for qualified talent. Let's just look at the example of Colombia. In 2011, information and communication technologies was only 1.6% of their exports. And with efforts to train a lot of people to create programmers and interactive designers and digital marketers, in 2016, information and communication technologies became 3.3% of their exports, which for a country that is developing, it's a very, very big deal. The bad part of it is that last year, 1.5 million jobs in the digital economy in Latin America remain vacant. It's not that these are the jobs that exist, it's that these are the jobs for which nobody applied. So we still have a huge gap of talent that we need to fill. Not only about digital skills, but about tech leadership skills. Because now we know how to train programmers. Now we know how to train marketers or people focus on startup business models. But we don't know how to create VPs, CTOs, product managers, people that lead technology. We know how to create gene generic managers. We know how to create bosses, but we still have to figure out how to create leaders. This is probably the edge that Silicon Valley still has over us. But we can fix that. And at Platzi, we're working towards this next goal. Now we know how to train digital skills. The next step is to train tech leadership skills. We believe in this so much that we decided to do something special about the country in our region that is doing the worst. Venezuelans have no way to pay for Platzi, even, even if we're very cheap. We charge less than $1 per month to have access to everything that we offer. So we decided to give away a quarter of a million dollars in 2017 to 1,000 Venezuelans, 1,000 annual scholarships. The result is that half of them got a job remotely that is paying them 10 times more than they could get in Venezuela. Now, we're doubling down on this, and we created a new scholarship this year, half a million dollars for 2,000 people, 1,000 Venezuelans and 1,000 single mothers, which is another group that we detected want to learn, want to have tech training, but because they're moms now, they don't want to leave their children. They want to stay with them, but continue their technology education. This is something very important to us, and we're continuously analyzing the outcomes of these programs. At the end of the day, the message is simple. We no longer live in a world where a diploma is enough. We have never lived in that world, to be honest, but with the internet and with the advancements in technology that we see today, we cannot afford to just believe that the diploma that we have is enough. Everybody, from the most junior in the company to the CEO, has to have an attitude of never stop learning, of always continuously improving their skills 
pivoting in their own lives as well as in their business models and having a strategy for actually be learning every day, at least an hour a day, and having a platform, an effective platform like Platzi, as part of their lives. The same way that you have Netflix, the same way that you have Spotify. Because that's the way that we will have a bigger advancement in technology and a way better society, both in Latin America and everywhere else. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.